All right, let's put the ribbon back. A lot of inventory now. All right, got my gun. Should at least have some healing on hand. Am I gonna get fuel? Let's make a plan. Aren't we? We're out of fuel here. Was there fuel on the balcony? My next objective should probably be to get a fuel run done regardless. Let's see, that door was locked, right? I already tried it. I must have just tried that. Everything around the... Hmm. If there's anything on that balcony with the dogs, then... Uh... I really wish I could remember. So I've got one shotgun. I didn't like split up my ammo or anything, did I? So I want to keep these things on hand because I'm probably going to find a use for them. I'm evidently not done with the armor key. Might as well just put this where it's supposed to be. Since I'm going to be heading out that way. <clears throat> sure. Alright, so I might make- I might actually make a, a fuel run all the way to the other fuel canister by the other item box. Just because I'm going to be out in that world in a moment, I believe. But one of my goals is going to be... I could try going downstairs on the left side over by that area. Or I could loop all the way back around to going through this unexplored area that's t that looks near me on the map right now, but I can't actually access it due to the fact that the door is one way, which is... Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> so at the very least, I need to loop around like crazy anyway, but I need fuel... ...on some level. Door opener. ka -ching. One way doors make this place so much longer to explore. So I have three full things of ammo right now, which is a lot. Generally speaking, more than we ever really have. I'm listening for sounds. We wouldn't want to be surprised now, would we? Alright, back to the central room. I'll try placing the hex that I've got. Just to get it out of my inventory clutter and make it one one less thing for me to carry around in the future. But I think this is where it goes. Great. 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 Uh, those are octagonal, aren't they? Yep, because they're the... The umbrella logo. This is hexagonal, so I was wrong about everything. Okay. All the more reason to go check out the other typewriter then. Not only can I maybe get fuel in the room next to there, but also if I go over a bit more, I may be able to get a chance to find. Uh, I mean, we'll explore whether or not the lion accepts that. I, th I was expecting, you know, blue gem, yellow gem. Because there's blue and yellow, seemingly. And the first one was a gem. You know, patterns and all that. Oh, God damn it! I hate you, camera. Why do you do this to me? Oh no, did I just go in the wrong one? Did I go in the bad one? Am I gonna get extra dead? Uh oh. 
I'm in the bad place. But this one's just door- no? It's not great. Uh, let's see what door this is. It's locked from the other side. Great. Uh, how do you even get there? Good question. I mean, that was like a helmet key, right? So I need to find the helmet key at some point, and maybe there's like a hole, or... Hmm. There's like a ladder there. Locked from the other side, huh? Well, I guess this, if nothing else, this kind of accidentally solved the mystery of whether or not I ever, I ever need to use this room and worry about the bad things. At least the central chunk of the room is largely not relevant anymore because I have the items from it. God, that was a dick move. Hiding inside the camera. Ah. Somebody's like, I'm going to make him pay for the hubris of letting this thing live. Thanks. Thanks. Glad we could come together to make my day worse. Alright. He's making the bat- yeah. Yeah, I mean, we gotta do this. Only yellow? Was I already in yellow or something? I wonder if I was already in yellow. This one bite should not have gotten me all the way down, I thought. Unless that's just another RNG element. I think there's like... It feels like there's might maybe several elements that vary from time to time. Why did I come in here? I guess I could grab a healing item. But I meant to go around, not in, really. Burning through my supplies, aren't I? I've made some mistakes. All right, so stop one. Stop number one is: Can I get? More fuel from here. I may have to take some physical notes to keep track of which sources of fuel still work. Only a little bit left. No, there really was only a little bit left. There was one serving. Alright, so this one's empty. And the one in the other save room is, is empty. There might be some on the dog balcony, which we'll get to. But overall, I'm not in a good place, kerosene-wise. Quickly becoming a very... non-existent resource. Is there one of them in here? Okay. I couldn't remember if I killed both of them last time, or... if they wandered, or what. No. Blue and yellow light. So I was just like double wrong about what this does. Salmon. Nothing unusual. Icon depicting wind. The wind crest. Alright, so it wasn't the other thing because that was octagons, not hexagons, and it's not this one, even though it's yellow-ish. Because no, I guess I do need a gem. It's for something else. Maybe something I've never encountered before? Since a lot of these rooms that are left are ones I haven't even been able to enter yet. That place needs masks. I could go take the masks there, just to see what happens. I took the crests to this place. I took the gem to this place and it gave me a reward. 
So I wonder if taking the masks there might lead to something positive. The aspect of how much of a risk that is depends a bit on whether or not there's any enemies left there or not, which admittedly, I also once again don't remember. There's a lot to parse. I remember having at least one, like, oh no, I didn't mean to fight him, Oh, now he's burning and dead, Oh, moments. But I don't remember if that was... what. Okay, so I can at least put them there. Make progress at things and not leave them all in my boxes. After all, if I have to get three or five or however many there were, that'd be a lot of inventory space being taken up. I don't want to just go the long way around. But leaving the room via the convenient direction just leads to bad things happening. What a shitty room. That room is just a shitty staircase. Poorly located. And that's the entire contents of the room. Please don't be right here. Use. Okay. Used to be way less into me. Now you're all up in me. And I need to stop that. I'm not wasting kerosene on you, and I'm definitely not killing you to make you a worse thing. Because now we know that killing things is basically bad, if you if you can avoid it. Because killing things makes them turn into an even worse thing, unless you spend a finite resource. Like, there's so many levels of, like, fuckery that you have to go through. Because <laughs> you have to spend your finite resource on killing them, then spend another finite resource on on super killing them, or they'll come back worse than they were in the first place. Although you might get lucky and they might die permanently from the first attempt. Okay, so he's gone. Because if you're lucky, the first attempt will just kill them forever. Because headshots and whatnot. No one knew down here, right? I haven't been down here forever. So it was four? The hole where the mouth should be. Let's see. You guys say no eyes, no eyes, nose, or mouth. So this is the eyes one, right? Oh no, eyes, nose, and mouth. Uh. Oh, uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> uh. Wow, I have this distinct sense that I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, it's just getting weirdly more violent and unnerving every time I move forward. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Where is this gear going? It looks like the gears- they're not gear, chain is like grinding through the solid stone. Like, why is the stone so weirdly like in a pile there? Alright, well, I'll leave that as a fun mystery for later. Man. Maybe there's a more direct reference in, uh... I still can't get to this door. Maybe there's a more direct reference elsewhere in Resident Evil. Uh, later or something. I mean, in Silent Hill. But, uh, when I played, uh, P.T. I couldn't help but notice that, like, that thing... I can't help but notice that this thing reminds me of that a bit, especially now that it's, like, bleeding and flailing. It reminds me of the chained fridge. Eh. Alright, so... One of my goals would be to check to see if I can get more kerosene from the dog area, which, if I can't, we're out of kerosene on the entire map, I believe. But aside from that, I also just need to go all the way around to that one locked door. Or go through, the, go through specifically the door that I've never opened before. Let's see. It's like the only one. It's mostly because it's just so inconveniently located. It's at the end of such a long linear hallway area. Uh oh. That's not what I want to see. 
All right. So from way, way back, the zombie that came around the corner is now up and at him and aggressive and fast. Hopefully he can't get past that. I'm hoping he can't get past that piece of furniture. I hope that blocks him because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. So there should be a dog running around here, right? But I need, I need the kerosene source and I've got ammo. Hey, nope, nope, nope. God damn it. God damn. God, okay. Weirdly, the dogs just aren't that dangerous. <laughs> Even though they feel incredibly dangerous because they're all over you. There's only a little bit left. Uh, not a single dr They both said there was only a little bit left, and now there's not a drop. Alright, so these are my last two bits of kerosene, period, until I find an entirely new source. Uh, that was probably worth getting a little bit of a fight over. Okay, these resources run out. Here's hoping that as I discover new locations and the map expands outward, I also discover more resources to use. Nope, nope, nope. Oh boy. Really? 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 <laughs> really? Really? Oh no. How many was that? I... Huh. Huh. That's new information. What I find especially worrying is that before I even saw any of them come through, I'd already heard some of them come through. And I saw two of them come through after the first one that I heard, which might have been two of them. So I think there's anywhere from like three to four of them in there, which is the most we've ever dealt with. Uh, I've got some ammo to work with, but like without fatal kit, without fatal blows, they will just still be there and uh and thanks to the magic of one-way doors I really need them to be defeated shit I'm guessing there's three of them because that if you look at the shape of that room on that on that map it looks like there's clearly like two pillars with one window on each side, so there's three three windows for them to break through. Ah, three zombies in one room. Damn. All right, let's go all the way back to the store, the safe house. I need them to be gone. I don't want that. That's the only way through that area because of the one-way door at the other safe house. So it needs to be cleared, or I, or I won't have access to that entire chunk of the map. That guy looks. That guy seems to be stuck behind that furniture. So I'm just gonna write him off forever, hopefully, until something changes. And I very much hope that doesn't happen. Okay, so hopefully this guy doesn't mess with me. Ah. Uh, I might get the grenade launcher. Maybe. I'm definitely getting the, getting the shotgun. So if I can get a if I can blow his head off with a shotgun, that's one down. I think there's only one round left in the shotgun. But it's still a fatal blow with the shotgun would Hey buddy. I liked you better when you were on the other side of the room, because you weren't in my way. Can you go back? 
Maybe if I lure you over here a little bit, you'll kind of be stuck over here again. I think I think there's only one round left in the shotgun, but if I use that, then one of them will die permanently, hopefully. And then I can burn the other two, but then I'm out of kerosene. But I need everyone in this direction to be gone, because I, I don't know how much there's there, but it feels like that's an important passageway. Because there's a cave or something. There's some sort of lines on the map indicating that it goes somewhere significant enough that it goes to like an entire new map. Yeah, there's two arrows pointing out to something. So that's my only way of accessing some other map. Whatever that is. If it's like a cave system or like a garden or a cemetery or I don't know. But that's the only way. So I need to not lose that passageway. Huh. Getting some use out of this hallway. And also my... My hopes were not reciprocated. I did not get a reward for... Uh, placing those masks. Except just the vague promise of future bad things happening, probably. It seems to be the implication. It's one of those things where if I did die right now, I wouldn't lose much. Because <laughs> I've mostly just been trying various things on things. So a death would not set me back through a lot of time. Broken shotgun. I don't know why I, ha I like singled that out for a second there. Uh, I was like buffering. Grenade launcher. Eh. Let's save the grenade launcher for, hopefully, a boss encounter. It's acid rounds. I've also got incendiary, though. Yeah. I do have a decent amount of, of rounds. I think I'm gonna stick with my bullets and kerosene plan, though. For now. Wait, do I have... Don't have healing on me. There's a red. I didn't mix red and green. Oh no. Alright. I did not mix my red and green. I thought I had way more green than I do, which pro probably because I did. <laughs> but now I'm out. So, with the addition of my shotgun, and then my two and uh, my two pieces of kerosene I just collected over the so he's just being annoying now. All right, so this is new information that we just hit about the surprise window bad thing happening. But my episode of stuff I've been doing so far, mainly gathering the two kerosene, added with this trip for the shotgun means I can now collectively deal with the threat, at least. So, it's all- this is all going somewhere. Please never get past the furniture. Every single time I'm gonna be worried. Okay, so he, he seems to always spawn in the back of that room and run forward. I'll just not linger in that room with the hopes that even if he can climb it over the furniture or something or even push it, hopefully if I just keep going through the room fast enough, he'll never make it that far. Let's see, am I already in the room or is it the next room? I should have checked sooner. No, this is the room. Okay. What a camera angle, huh? Really helps me see the whole situation. Does he see me or what? Well, that much went according to plan. Neat. 
It was nice of him to just be not res not responsive for a bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a headshot. What? There's, there's actually four of them. My ears were correct. I hate it when I'm right. I'm always right when it's a bad thing. Come on. Come on over, buddy. I can't see you. Because this camera system's actually kind of silly. <laughs> Oh, he's really far away. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I was so worried about my math being messed up because I was right. The pessimistic number was right. But thankfully, that happened. No, uh... There we go. Get off the fire. There we go. So two of them... So one of them I specifically intentionally blew up his head with a shotgun. The other one I got lucky. And it, it just went off. So two headshots, two fire. The room is clear. Ah... <sighs> That's how, you, that's how you ratchet tension. You'd be like, oh, I'm down to these resources. Everything's fucked. I need to, I, and I, I don't know how I'm going to make things work in the existing situation. Then you will turn the corner and a new problem comes up. You didn't even plan on because you were not even sure how to handle the existing problem. Uh, I'm surprised by the fact that mechanically, like if you, if you play Silent Hill, then you go on to try out Resident Evil. You'd kind of expect Silent Hill to be like the really tense, difficult game where it's like your character's like really inept and not good at fighting and it's a really tense experience trying to get through it all alive and so on. And you'd expect Resident Evil to be the more action-oriented, kind of sillier one. But the contact, this like even though it's supposed to be like survival horror and everything, I expected this one to be sillier. But I'm playing them both on normal difficulty and Resident Evil is a game that I'm beating I uh, not not beating. I'm playing through this and like we're like uh, uh, resources are a mess. I'm constantly taking damage, things are going wrong, and then when right when I think things are already, already going wrong, new surprises pop out that make things worse. But I'm playing Silent Hill and I'm like, dude, I have 500 bullets and three and like 14 healing items. I'm fine. And that was my experience playing like Silent Hill 2 on normal mode and they came out like I want to say Silent Hill 2 and Resident Evil's, the Resident Evil 1 remake came out like almost the same time. That's complete inversion of expectations.